lay, oh lay, oh lay, 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 lay. So all my life, I've been, you know, saying the other word here and there. I'm Hispanic, by the way, but I grew up in the hood. And I stumbled upon this video. I wanted to react to it to see if it would change my perspective, to see if I should stop saying it, or if it's okay to say it, because I don't know if it's okay to say it. But yeah, let's get into it. Now, this video is called, Can Latinos Say the N-Word? And well, I'm about to find out. Let's do this. Uh, identify as Black American, African American, Jamaican American, but Black for the most part. Dominican American and. Oh, I am Dominican and Puerto Rican. And I identify as an Afro. Wait, so what does that make me? I was born in America as well. Okay. So am I called Dominican American? But I'm also Puerto Rican. Where is this from New York? Anita Dominican? So what? <laughs> Am I the word that can money and pens? Uh, I don't know. All right, back to it. Latina. I identify as Afro Latina. I identify as Mexican. I refer to myself as a black. Mexican. Hold up. As Afro Latina. I. I yeah, I can see it. Identify as Mexican. I refer to myself as a black teen. Ah! I am Ham Hawks and Black Eyed Peas Black. I am Ashy Elbows Black. <laughs> I was white for most of my life until I came to the United States and I found out I'm diverse. Chinese and Puerto Rican. What is diverse mean? Hold on. A uh, range of racial, ethnic, I'm not going to talk about that now. So I'm guessing he's saying that he was white, but he figured out that he was mixed with other races. Okay, cool. Puerto Rican, I identify, I my guess brother. you say Afro Latina. Can Latinos use the N-word? Hell no. Why not? In my eyes, Latinos are black people too. Yeah, the girl you go, yeah. And in that right, Latinos should be able to use the N-word. No. I never, I've never used the word. I, I can't understand what was up. Can't. I've never been like oppressed by that word. <laughs> so, let me go back. Like, him and the girl before him, they're like their skin color is like you know it, it's very light you know white my skin color is like caramel brownish blackish so i don't know it doesn't depend on skin i can't i've never been like oppressed by that word if you are a person who've never been called the n-word in a negative way or you've never been in a situation where you fear being called the n-word in a negative way then I don't think that you can really reclaim a word that you've never been oppressed by. Okay, that, that's a really good point right there. I like what she said. If you've never been called the word, and if you, like, um, like if it hurts you or people call it, say it to you in a negative way, I think that's, uh, I think it's a better way to just say it than just no or yes. For me, I, I have been called the other word many, many times. I believe me and my friends went to a movie one time, and while he was walking home, I think we saw some drunk white guy. He was like, nigger, nigger. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I was laughing because it was hilarious. You know, he was drunk, so I don't think he knew. But I would definitely call it a porn in a very hateful manner. I, I don't use it with everybody. I don't use it with Joanna. I don't use it with anyone here at Flama. I don't use it with most Latinos, period, or most people, period. It's usually just my niggas, like <laughs> close, close friends <laughs> that I know that we understand the the term within our, our own circle to be whatever whatever definition we decided on. Word, it, word. it just never felt right for me, but I don't think I can tell anyone they can't say it, especially if that's how they grew up. I am not bothered by a Latino person using the word. We come from the same, same place. Cool. And we experience discrimination sometimes in the same way. I do not use it. I do not think that it should be used, but I'm saying perhaps there is a past, a sort of past because they have a bit of a shared experience. Growing up, the mm -hmm. Latin community and the black community were close together and listened to the same music. They all listened yeah. to hip hop and hip hop. <laughs> That's what I mean. I'd be listening to all that good stuff. My mom, she, she barely plays Spanish songs. She'd be playing mostly anything on like, like Hot 97. And that's like mostly for African American people. Oops. <laughs> I muted it. Hold up.
and listen to the same music. They all listen to hip hop. And hip hop is known to use the N word more. My hip hop, R&B, like all, all that good stuff. And I feel that because they were both in the same communities, they saw each other as having a shared experience of being a minority and facing racism. So I think that the Latinos kind of adopted that word as their own too. Latin America is so big, it has, it's so different. We're all so mixed that it's to put <clears throat> Latin people, it's like, well, what kind of Latin people? Like there's people that can say, they, people that come from African descent. I usually tend to only use it around those people that I know who have African ancestry. Like I wouldn't use it uh, towards like a white Latino. If anyone tries to yeah. be, to use- <laughs> I'll, wait. Is there a difference between black Latinos and white Latinos? Because I'm dark skinned and this girl right here is like white skinned, very. So is she like, is she a white Latino and I'm a black Latino? Mm. Use it as, okay, I'm going to appropriate this word and I'm going to say this word because you're my friend and we're buddies and this is a secret thing between you and me. I definitely do use that word around my friends. I, yeah, mostly around my friends. <laughs> they just say it back to me as well. And then you feel the tension. You can feel the. Oh, this is not, this is not working. The word in modern day life is all in context. It's like the word fuck. It means everything, it means nothing. It's an adjective, it's a noun, it's something that can be used, it just depends on the context. It's all about context and what type of context they're using it in. If it's Donald Trump calling me that from the top of a podium, it's some yeah, racist bullshit. Up. Yeah, I um, that. But if it's, if it's my homie on, a, on my block, he's being <laughs> friendly, it's a term of endearment. The meaning almost changes completely. I hate to admit that there's like a certain, like, uh -huh. there's a certain standard, unspoken standard of blackness where there's people that are allowed to, to get a, away with it. Nice. Fat Joe, yeah. he can say it. J-Lo, girl. <laughs> such a hard thing. Because you don't act black. Like who gets to use it? Who has license over it? Um, it, it really depends on how comfortable you are with it. But like, if you can say the N word and you want to say the N word, and you feel bad, it's like, oh, people don't let me say the N word. Great. It's probably you shouldn't say the N word at all. And it's yeah. having a pride in your blackness and understanding that this isn't an offensive term. <coughs> this is a term of endearment that we have taken control over yeah. and are protective over. So Definitely. own your blackness and you can say it all you want. Okay, yeah, cool. Well, I guess I can say it if I'm allowed to say it, because I, I understand everything what you people are saying. I am, I, I, I come from the hood. I was born in the Bronx, and I, I grew up here where I am right now. So I guess, you know, I'm allowed to say it. So with that being said, no!